What's going on, folks? Today is a great day. Detroit Lions have extended two players in Amon Ross, St. Brown, and Penny Sula, as we're going to talk about here in today's video. And is Jared Goff next? Because, look, going in three. So let's get this video started right now. First off, congratulations to both Panay Sewell and St. Brown while I'm recording this video. That's for their extension here. Um, uh, is super, ex super happy for them. Really, really happy for them. Two players that well deserve the, the cornerstones of this football team. St. Brown is a player you do not have to worry a second about paying him that money. This guy is a number one wide receiver. He is the definition of Dan Campbell type of guy, grit. You know, all about working hard, all about production. You don't talk a lot, but he does produce a lot on the field. He's all about his work ethic. He's got a great pedigree from his family. You know, now he's the highest paid wide receiver while recording this right now. Maybe we'll see if there's other receivers that get paid that jump him like Justin Jefferson. But right now, St. Brown is the guy. And I have seen people upset about this. I don't know why. I understand it's a big contract. Contracts are going to be big when you put up the production of St. Brown and what he brings this football team. He produces on the field, off the field. He does everything right. When you do everything right, like St. Brown does, you're going to get paid right, as he should be. This guy is awesome, and I'm so happy for St. Brown getting his extension and it's right before the NFL draft. The Lions can focus on the draft after this. And then you get Panay Sewell. Four-year deal, $112 million for him. Again, cornerstone piece. And he's getting paid as the best ta you know, offensive lineman right now in football. Right now, he'll probably change going forward, right, when more people get extended. But these two players deserve to get paid. They deserve the money that they're getting. They're cornerstone pieces. You don't need to worry about Panay Sewell. You don't need to worry about St. Brown. You know what they're going to bring to the table for our Detroit Lions. So it's awesome that they're getting this payday. It's great that they're getting these extensions. And it shows to the rest of the NFL, and it shows these prospects, and anyone that gets drafted, if you do the right thing in Detroit, Detroit's going to pay you. And that's a great message to send out there. I mean, look at these other receivers. Justin Jefferson, they can't get paid right now. T. Higgins, they can't get paid right now. The Detroit Lions, like, nah, we're not going to pay all these other guys out that are not Lions. We're going to pay our Detroit Lions the money they deserve. We draft you. We pay you if you produce well. That's a great message for this football team. Now we got to be worried about when's Jared Goff going to get paid. Is it going to happen today? Will he get an extension? You'd think it will. If they're going to do a Monra and they're going to do Panay, you think that's that Jared Goff is going to be next here very, very shortly to get paid. I think you can look at Ali McNeil as well. So those are the, those are the two players that the Lions could look at to get paid. And and I but JG's got to be coming up here real soon where he gets his extension. So we can stop talking about the future quarterback for the Detroit Lions. Is it going to be Jared Goff? Is it going to be Hannah Hooker? Is it well, hopefully that's coming to an end here very shortly because I know a lot of us, we get tired of talking about it. And, you know, so, we just want that part to be over with so we can focus on other things about football, right? We can focus about the prospects, the draft, the players whom we bring in as undrafted rookies. We can focus on training camp. We can focus on getting to a Super Bowl instead of dealing with contracts, and which does get uh, annoying after a little bit. So he's probably going to be next. Jared Goff there, so I'm excited for when that occurs so we can talk about it as well. But look, I'm happy for these two. I really am, and I generally like to be fiscally responsible and, and that's the way that we should be. But when it comes to these two players, specifically these guys, they are the epitome of Detroit Lions. Dan Campbell type of guy. They're so good. I mean, you don't worry about them. And Panay Sewell is a leader. He's a vocal leader. He's a he's a, he, he he's great at what he does. There's nothing negative about Panay Sewell. I think the biggest negative part of these deals is we wish it to be longer. <laughs> That's really it. I, I, I mean, I can't argue. 
I can't get upset at all about the money. I can't get upset about what this team is doing right now. I, I love this leadership of this football team. I love what they're doing and, and getting these deal done right before the draft. And they, I you know what? I can't wait. If JG gets his deal done, even if he doesn't get his deal done by tomorrow, when they say Caleb Williams to the Bears, I have an inkling that all the fans in that that draft is going to chant Jared Goff, Jared Goff, Jared Goff, as that's been taking place. So I'm excited to see that. I want my Lions fans to drown it out, the Bears out, to drown out the Vikings and the Packers. But yeah, when they when they draft Caleb Williams, they're going to be chanting Jared Goff, and that's going to be good, especially gives this deal. It's really going to be happening here. So excited for Jared Goff. I know this is not the longest video in the world, but we got a lot going on right now, so we can't just take the time to make these videos. We we're, we're, we got to be getting setting up here for the draft. So stay tuned. We'll see if any more players get extended. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below with SF Folks. I